Hawaii looks pretty good right now when oh, it's about 12 yes. degrees outside our windows. <laughs> but absolutely. Let's get to our top story. <laughs> Brand new Fox polls showing support for Obamacare dropping to new lows. Good morning to you on this Friday. I'm John Scott. And I'm Uma Pemaraju in today for Jenna Lee. As approval for Obamacare drops, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius on the road today promoting the new law as a key White House health care official resigns. Obamacare advisor Chris Jennings leaving after only six months on the job. The White House brought him on last summer to deal with the health care rollout. Now he's stepping down after a health scare put him in the hospital. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry is joining us now live with more from the White House. Ed? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, uh, the bottom line is White House officials here say that there were family issues, as you suggested, uh, that Chris Jennings had to attend to uh, in addition to that health scare. And so that's why he's stepping down. Uh, what's uh, important about this is that he was somebody who had brought a lot of experience to the table uh, because he had served way back in the Clinton administration on health care uh, issues as well. And so obviously uh, had been through many uh, battles on Capitol Hill uh, between the Clinton White House and Republicans on the Hill, uh, now between the Obama White House and Republicans. Republicans on the Hill. Uh, and let, let's face it, there is still a big battle ahead in terms of implementing this law. The latest Fox poll out uh, last night uh, shows the law reaching new lows in terms of popularity on the question of uh, whether you favor or oppose it. Now, 36% favoring, 59%. Uh, opposing. Uh, you can see that favoring is down four points from June of last year. Uh, then on the president's handling of health care, 38% uh, approve, 59% disapprove. Uh, that is why uh, it's still a big challenge uh, ahead for the president implementing this law. But they believe inside the White House that they have a good story to tell, that they're turning the corner on the website, but also more importantly, uh, they're increasing the enrollment numbers. Uh, so they believe they're getting this law on its feet. Uma. Well, Ed, the President's State of the Union speech is coming up next week. How big of a role will health care play in that State of the Union speech that we're it's expecting? Important for an yeah, it's important for a number of reasons, Zuma. I mean, first of all, obviously, he does uh, have to uh, try and make the case that this law is stabilizing, but also uh, has to uh, turn the page a bit from it to try and focus on immigration reform and the economy and some of his other priorities in the second term. Uh, interesting, Vice President Biden was out yesterday making the case for the law, while Speaker John Boehner was actually on with Jay Leno uh, saying this law still needs to be scaled back. Take a listen. Somehow our opposition thought somehow this health care thing is not a basic human right. We yeah. think Obamacare is bad for the country. Uh -huh. We think we're spending, we shouldn't spend more than what we bring in. Uh, we think the president's ignoring the laws. Yeah. Uh, it's all a fight over tactics. It's not over, over yeah. what our goals are. Bottom line, a State of the Union next week, uh, the president is going to be uh, not just making the case for health care, but uh, making the case for why he's still relevant in pushing his agenda, because he's getting closer and closer, obviously, to becoming a lame duck, Uma. Ed Henry, great to see you from the White House. Thank you very much you. for that update.